Hi, I'm going to be doing some videos for Animal uh, Rescue Assistance Team Tennessee, ARAT. Um, this is a little rescue puppy. Her name is Dixie and she is a Corgi Bichon mix. She's eight weeks old. I've had her for about two weeks. My granddaughter's going to adopt her. And so we're going to go through some of the little training techniques that I use to get good dog behavior. That's what we're working for. Not so much the tricks, but for good dog behavior. I'm going to show you all the tricks that she knows and then uh, each little video that I do we're going to break each trick down or each training behavior down so that you can do this with your rescue dog. Okay, first one we taught her was her name and the way we did that was we just said Dixie, Dixie, Dixie and the reason you do that is it reinforces that every time she hears the word Dixie something good's going to happen. Dixie. Dixie, and that helps you uh, getting her to come back to you or working on a recall. Um, when she hears her name, she's more likely to come to you. You never want to chase a dog and punish a dog if the dog doesn't come back to you. You either go to the dog and treat the dog or you put the dog on a line and, so that you can bring the dog back to you. Um, if you punish them, they'll never come back to you on a, on a regular basis. So the next thing that I want to work on is four feet on the floor. Yes, yes. And the way I do that is if she's sitting calmly waiting like this little puppy is right now, I'm going to treat her. I'm not giving her any commands. I'm just saying if you keep your four feet on the floor, you, something good happens. Yes. I also add this. That means sit. That's a hand signal. I don't even use the word. I just do this. And she knows. Good. Yes. The other one that I work on is touch when you're working with a little dog and you go to reach for them. Oftentimes they do this zigzag thing. Um, the way you stop that is by asking her to touch. Touch. Yes. Very good. That also is important when a dog, when you greet your dog, instead of getting all excited, the <laughs> first thing you ask for is a touch. And that stops them from jumping up on top of you. They know that if they come to your hand, they're going to get a rub or whatever. Now, also, the other thing that I work on is when I ask her for a sit, I'm going to reach for her collar, reach over her head. Dogs don't like that when you reach over their head. Um, so in order to stop her from doing this, let <laughs> that collar bugging you, I'm going to ask her for a sit. Yes. And then I'm going to reach and just tug on that collar. So then if I go to hook the leash on or I go to put the collar on, she's used to me coming up over top of her head. So that's another thing that you can do when you're working on a set. Dixie? Yes, very good. Very good. Sit. Yeah. Ah. Now you notice I'm waiting until she keeps her feet on the floor. No. She's getting ahead of herself. Yeah. And that's because she's just a baby. Sit down. Nope. Yes, try. Very, very good. Very good. I have a signal for come, and it's just I pull with my hand, and then I ask her for a sit. Yeah. Uh, uh. Yes, very good. Very good. Now, this is all in two weeks. You can do this with a big dog or a little dog. So now she has a couple little tricks up her sleeve that we've been working on. We've been working on spin. Spin. Yes, very good. Very good. And the other thing that we've been working on is a shake. Sit. Yes. Nope. Just try again. Yes. Sit. Yes. Now, in order to teach her to shake, I'm going to go down. Yes. If I go down to her chest with cheese in my hand, she's automatically going to put her hand up, and I'm going to shake her. Yes. Very good. So that's the training of Dixie, and we'll break these all down into small videos, and we'll have them posted on the ARAP website.